Can I get a strawberry refresher? Yeah, what size? Uh, venti. Okay. And a ham and Swiss croissant. Okay. A couple things of note. I've obviously changed my Starbucks order. Sorry if that's jarring for some of you viewers. I somehow ripped some skin off of my chin. So I look, I'm not as sexy as I usually am. Thank you very much. Thank you, have a good day. You too. Hey guys, what's going on? Bobby here, back at it again with another kart racing vlog. Today I will not be racing, I will be wrenching. This is another Matsugaitis Global Force Kart Sport Ignite Series vlog. I'm on my way to the Gateway Kartplex a little bit later than usual because since I'm not racing, pff, why would I get there early? I was very impressed with how Matt did in the first race. Didn't really expect him to get a second place in his first outing. So today it's gonna be a little bit more of a challenge for him. He's gonna be running a layout that he's never ran before uh, with the extension. And I'm really looking forward to seeing how he does. I think today's gonna be a true test to see how he's gonna be able to compete throughout the whole year with changing layouts and all that fun stuff. So we're really looking forward to getting to the track. Everybody wants to go racing. Look at this. Look at this line. Oh my god. Look at this racetrack. This person wanted to race at the Gateway Carplex so bad they came all the way from Alaska to do it. If that doesn't tell you about how much fun we have here at Gateway, I don't know what will. Hello, Bobby Krug. What's your name? Samantha. Oh, hi, Samantha. Hi. What's up, guys? It's Haley. Back with another vlog uh, today. Giving out passes. Am I gonna make it on Bobby the vlog? Yeah. I don't I don't ever see myself on the vlog. Yeah right there. Yo, Yo mama. Papa Grande. Yo, That's Papa. big Papa in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck Bobby. I'm not racing. Oh fucking Ken Williams fan clubs here. KWFC. KWFC. Holy new parking lot. Look at this premium parking. How did Matt move up in the world? You get one podium finish and you think you can park all the way up here. So you're telling me that because you get one podium finish, you get the first parking spot in the pit area? VIP, baby. Keep it down over there. I'm trying to concentrate. Oh, there he is. There he is. What's up, brother? We How missed you, doing, you. Man? I missed you too. How you been? The sexy beast. My up, view buddy? count just went up like 20%. How's it going? And there's another 10% right there. There you go. Tell everybody that we have a new acquisition. Wow, who's that guy on the back of that t-shirt? He looks down. slow. Oh. Not spoil the race for the first. I hate the guy. He's kind of lame, really. Yeah. Are you ready? Oh, you're, you're running senior. I am running senior. Oh boy. Oh boy. And this is this is why I retired. Oh really? Right here, this guy. I'm gonna give this to Matt because I don't think he knows what the flags mean. Oh, Matt! Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I got you a gift. You probably need this. So that's what I've been doing wrong. That's my favorite one. That's my second favorite one. one I don't like that one. I don't even know what that is. Yeah, just nor I've never seen that one before either. <laughs> I'll never see that one. If you see this one, it means go faster. We call it the boot skating boogie. <laughs> <laughs> is this Dale? No. Where's Dale? It should be Dale. His middle name is Dale. I don't know. I asked Kenny and Kenny said he couldn't find it the other day. Dale's gone missing still. Which means it's on Kenny's cart. Kenny, I'm willing to throw hands. 
I'm willing to put out a thousand dollar reward to anyone who can find Dale. So along with helping Matt guide us out, I'm uh, trying to help out Austin Russell a little bit as well. Uh, senior is really stacked today. There's a lot of good drivers. Ignite race day. Yeah. Yeah. What's with all these Ignite juniors in the senior field? Like, come on now. Right. Yeah, the rivalry's back. Hey, you'd like to the, the UFC. Hey, here, here's your, here's your, your thumbnail. Like That's your thumbnail. So I am Matt Zagaitis' anger translator. Um, practices have gone a lot more decent than he is visually displaying. Uh, he has gained speed from first to second practice. We made some gear changes and clutch changes. And uh, he's, he's going in the right direction, although not based on the positions, but I believe that he is doing a much better job than, than he is visually showing. We're making another change, as you can see back there. Also, he decided that it'd be a good idea just to try to rip the bumper off, just for fun. So we've already fixed that. We've just been a bracket, no big deal. Cheap fix. Uh, and so he's gonna go out here and he's gonna go qualify on the pole and uh, really show these guys what he's actually got. We've been sandbagging, actually. GFK's been sandbagging. And uh, we're gonna go out there and we're gonna have a good showing in quali. Isn't that right, Matt? Uh-huh. Uh, Matt, I think Heavy is out on track for qualifying right now. Well, Matt's uh, struggle today continues. Unfortunately, he missed the first couple laps qualifying. Only had four laps in, but he was actually able to still qualify sixth. So, pretty good recovery for almost missing the session. So, he'll go out here in the race today and, and hopefully find some more ground. I think a top five compared to everything else that's happened today would be a pretty good finish for the number 74. We're about to find out. Good job, brother. Thanks, dude. It's not podium, but hey, it's okay. It's improvement. We're rookie and uh, classes in session. Yeah. Wait, what's not mad. What's as bad as it felt? Not mad. So I was, I was figuring it out. I was figuring. It out. I just had to follow a couple of leaders. I'm like, oh, okay. All right. So that is round three. Finished P5. Bought ourselves one position. Um, 
We started uh, third row outside uh, because we were a little late getting to qualifying. Uh, but still only having uh, four laps of that qualifying effort, we were still able to, you know, find some speed. We actually were up uh, about three or four tenths from uh, practice two. So we knew that we had in the snapshot that we were that uh, we had some speed. So I knew that once we were able to get back out there uh, for the race, I was going to be able to uh, get in the draft and uh, work with uh, the likes of uh, Newland and Doug Stroud. And, that's ultimately what we ended up doing. It was a kind of an uneventful race, uh, being on this particular layout for the very first time. Uh, the whole day I was, you know, school was in session. Uh, I hadn't ran the 180, you know, extension since 2019 when they debuted it for iDrive, and that was just a one and done. So, no experience on this layout whatsoever. Short one, I was kind of struggling with all day because you're carrying so much speed, but. Uh, I knew that if I were able to stick with the leaders, kind of learn off of them, um, that I think we were going to do okay. Uh, in the end, uh, it looked like Doug Stroud got a little crossed up uh, going through uh, sector one, if you will, turns one through three. Uh, John Newland was able to capitalize, I was able to go with him. Uh, and uh, Doug wanted to uh, close the door, but I had my foot in it. So, um, <laughs> uh, in the end, it was a top five finish. Uh, as a rookie, I'd like to say that that was pretty good. I'd give it a, another B, a B on the day. Uh, but uh, for the most part, I actually remembered to breathe. Uh, I remembered to keep it straight. Didn't try to overdrive it. And I was actually in the moment having fun. And that's what's all important. So uh, it's a little hotter out here racing under the sun than it is uh, uh, at uh, daybreak, uh, you know, in the twilight hours for iDrive. So that's another element that I'm having to get used to is uh, mid to high 80s today. So it's different. So there's new elements that I have to consider, but I can't uh, can't thank Bobby Krug for uh, tweaking on the cart all day, uh, providing his technical expertise. Uh, he's a great friend, great sponsor, and um, he's a hell of a mechanic. There he is. Uh, and I uh, also had uh, Daniel Southard out with us today. He wanted to do some shadowing, so uh, probably expect to see him uh, competing in the near future. And we had uh, I Drive uh, Heavy Class uh, driver David Sharp out and uh, with his brother. And uh, yeah, it was nice and crowded and uh, lots, of, uh, lots of activity going on uh, in the Global Force uh, pit box today. But. And all, no trophy, no podium, but we learn more, and as we all know, knowing is half the battle. G.I. Joe Club, 1980s. What's up? Uh, and as always, Jason at Wriggleware Custom Apparel, uh, better known business right there on Scott Air Force Base. Check them out, Wriggleware LLC on the socials, on the dot com. Definitely look at his products if you want to get some really nice customized apparel for your family events, your corporate events, just to have a uh, Bobby Krug fan club t-shirt, whatever you want. Uh, he is responsible for uh, the graphics on the suit uh, this season. I can't thank him enough for everything that he does in that respect to the team. So uh, Bobby makes me look fast, or gets me fast, and Jason makes me look fast. So. Uh, it's a dream come true. I'm having a great time, and we'll see you guys in round four. I couldn't have said it better myself, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.